we're going to do a left posterior hip capsule stretch. It helps free up some internal rotation, which may be one of the reasons why your left foot is over pronated because it's struggling to go through there. And that's why we're having that collapse. And then you have that shift because as the foot collapses, your body goes. If we can keep both of them arched and rooted, it will be even. So we need a pole or something you can kind of balance. So you can put this here. Right foot's gonna go in front of the left foot and you're going to rotate it. This is gonna fucking suck. Rotate like a T. So all the way this way, but keep this back leg straight. Then from here, you're just going to, with your left arm, reaching towards the right, you're gonna hinge back, reach down, ease up the tension here. This is just a balance. As far back as you can. Every exhale. Allow yourself to go deeper. You're gonna feel that a lot back here. It's gonna feel good when you're done, but it's gonna feel bad while you're doing it, depending on how tight it is. <laughs> and the lower you can get, then take away the counterbalance, bounce on your own, and of course, then add like a little bit of weight. You can, you can get to that point where you can take a, a kettlebell in this hand, and just put this arm out for a little bit of balance, and push all the way back, and then breathe. It's a significant hip capsule stretch. It's gonna feel great though when you're done.